hello everyone in this video I'm going to explain you that uh, a small requirement which is related to power apps so using power apps how to upload documents uh, to a specified folder in SharePoint document library okay for that we need to create uh, three or four steps in the first step we need to create a document library in SharePoint with different folders and in the second step we need to design the form in power apps third step we will invoke the power automate from the power apps uh, button control okay so later in the fourth steps we need to uh, write some parameters which are coming from the uh, power apps to the power automate okay so let's create uh, this solution and let's see how we can uh, reach to the uh, conclusion okay so first go to your office and where you can have power apps icon on the left side so and here first let's create the step one create a um, document library here with the name uh, company and in that company let's create few folders with the names finance hr it and operators and let's add some dummy documents inside these folders say in the finance folder hr and it and operations okay at present uh, i'm already having this uh, company folder company sorry company document library and uh, the other folders inside in this document library so now the second step is to go to the uh, power apps and in this uh, power apps let's design the form now so for this we need to have the power apps license it means like we need to have office 65 e5 license so this is the uh, power apps home page where we can create the canvas app and let's select here tablet view so that we can use this app in our sharepoint page so now our power apps is getting ready So now click uh, so now uh, little bit enlarge this tablet view and just now place the controls here on this canvas first let's create a label control so that we can name it as upload a document and to capture the document there is no upload control in power apps so what shall we do is we will insert uh, add media control or add picture control from the media section here so that it will capture the image as well as the other documents from the pc or mac now little bit uh, make it so on the right hand side you can see some of the properties related to the controls in power apps uh, now we are changing the control label control here so now let's save the app now go back to the app again and 
let's play once before that uh, so let's play and check whether if I tap here can I select any document so now since it is for image if you, you need to select all files so that it will take all the formats all the document formats such as PDF Word PPT now so now we got this control and we can able to access any document okay now the next step so the next step is to get the file name whatever we select whatever we want to upload we will access the document from the PC so from that we need to know the file name which we select or which is ready to upload so for that we will take a label and we will assign that uh, label value to the particular file which we will select to upload okay now for that we will use label control in power apps let's make some changes modifications to that uh, particular label now uh, to know the exact name of that particular file name so we here use add media button one okay since this uh, uh, add add image control will have inside other two small controls uh, from there we can select add media button one dot file name so that it will give the file name which is ready to upload present I am selecting some file name known as uh, some file with the extension PDF PPT okay power apps demo PPT so now it's able to read the particular uh, name of the file just we need to little bit uh, drag okay so now you can see the exact name of that particular file which we have up, which is ready to upload and we have captured that name in the file name and uh, the second step now is to get the all the folder names in that particular document library so for that we need to create label control here to name that particular um, field here now let's uh, take a drop down and uh, let's try to configure the uh, number of folders in the SharePoint document library and bind that data to the to, to this drop down okay so for that we need to add SharePoint data source and in the SharePoint data source and the connectors add that SharePoint database and if it is already available SharePoint database it will give the lists and documents list from this here select the uh, document uh, uh, library with the name company okay so now we need to replace the none with the present company list name in the items so that it will work like a data source for the drop down and also in the next field in the value field let's give here folder path and now you can notice that uh, 
uh, something happened in the drop down box so when you click play you can see the folders path okay but you will see the duplicates here don't worry uh, by using some kind of filters or something we will generally we can make use here uh, so now you can see all the folder structures paths coming here and now let's go to the power apps form and here we are ready with all these three fields and let's keep a button so that if i click that button this document or whatever document i select must go and fall in the specified folder in the document library of the sharepoint okay before that we need to know one thing that from directly we can't do this from the power apps so we need to take help from the power automate so it's time now to create a power automate flow which can be helpful to us to upload the documents into specified folder okay now let's invoke the power automate select the button now select the button now and uh, on the top you can see file home insert view action right so in the action there will be power automate so that if you click power automate it will show the already available power out uh, flows here related to the uh, power apps and now you need to create the new one click new and you can see many templates related to powerpoint or else we can create from the scratch okay it is better to always create from the scratch click uh, instant cloud flow <coughs> sorry so now first select power apps So now the first step is power apps okay uh, and save it with some name uh, updated uh, something doc libraries and now here since we can't directly access the name of the document and the uh, image extraction as attachment like those things okay we can't able to directly attach directly so we need to use one kind of uh, outlook connector so that it will give the specified file or contact name in a string type so for that let's create one condition where one is not equal to two so since it is not equal to always uh, it will uh, in the first one we will give if yes it will send an email to himself uh, myself uh, here and uh, I will add attachment and uh, attachment and the name so, attachment means word document and the name of the document and the folder path okay these three things will be considered here so now click attach name and you ask that in power apps okay so again this, uh, you just add that to the content on the right hand side if you don't see that click see more see more and give there so that it will be now the third one which is missing is uh, 
see the third one missing is the folder path okay once you are done with this all the four things now you just come to the no section here false section and uh, create an folder create a folder now in the no section all these uh, attachments will be used as a parameters okay now here uh, create a sharepoint file folder create a file right so now one by one you add here first add the site name and then add the folder path then add the file name and the file content so in the folder path uh, hope you have given that already file content file name okay so now let's go and uh, activate the control from the power apps so in power apps uh, so in the power app select the button and if you click that you can see here the flow is coming here and now we need to pass these three fields into this power automate okay so now try to add accordingly that if it is a name add name if it is attachment add attachment if it is something else add that with double quotes see now we need to know the uh, response on now using add media button one we came to know the file name and the now let's add content with the same add file name where can so now we need to give the folder path which is coming from the drop down one dot selected text dot value now we have completed these complete uh, the ascending of the parameters here <laughs> now let's see the output so there is no files in the finance only test page dot html is there now what shall we do is like <coughs> upload a file pdf file and let's see let's give the specified folder and it will go and uh, it will go into that particular folder here <coughs> pdf and from the drop down select the finance and click upload and go and see the file 
whether it is coming into that finance folder or not so just now arrived like this you need to do uh, or you need to upload files to a specific folder in SharePoint using Power Apps okay the main thing we need to remember is little bit of power automate flow and you must always remember that um, using outlook only we can get this file name and the file content okay so please subscribe to our channel and uh, uh, we will in the fu future we will provide many requirements like this related to sharepoint power automate and also power apps in our previous this one we can not we can also see the power apps code as a json like uh, selecting that step and the peak code will be there peak code p e e k c o d peak code from there we can see the code how it is assigned how json json or json json code is there okay so so now please subscribe to our channel okay thank you very much